Okay, so once you check uh, the unit, uh, okay, I will introduce a little bit about interfaces. Uh, basically, this is very uh, almost identical with AutoCAD, but kind of. So let's a little bit play with this one. So to draw a line, uh, okay. So here is top view, front view, right view, and perspective view, and here is a property. I will just make it a little bit larger. So here is property. There's a layer, uh, display style and then help but you mainly work with just layers and properties and I'll explain more later and there are also you know file new and also kind of basic uh, icon and function here and this is probably one of the most frequently used icon the collection of most frequently used icons so if you want to draw a line simply do polyline and just draw a line and then to finish it just you can uh, hit uh, escape this will cancel if you want to draw it, just hit uh, enter, then it will uh, finish it. If you want to close a line, just close, just click the last one. If you want to draw a curve, then just draw it and enter to finish this. If you want to draw a surface, just draw a surface and that's it. So pretty much that's it. Uh, and then there are another other options that uh, if you want to use them. So here's another option. Uh, and actually you do you see that this one is actually changed whenever you surface tool and this one is all curves tool. This one is standard. Make sure that which one which tab you are using. This one is render tool, drafting and new in five. But we just mainly use standard, that's it. And then also there are basic menus here. Uh, curve, surface, solid mesh, dimension. Then, if you want to draw dimension like this one, you can just draw dimension here. And then uh, I will explain about a mouse button. So you can select either from left corner to right corner. It will select everything inside this window. But if you do it reverse way, you will select everything that this rectangular box cross. So use it uh, wisely uh, from top left to bottom right corner it will select anything inside only if you do reverse way it will select everything that it touches and then here in the perspective so if you make sure that which one is activated window so here are top window this is perspective and right window so this one is what you are working on and if you use right mouse button it is actually orbit but if you use right mouse button here it's pen it's panning and you, you can use a, a middle wheel button, zoom in out, it's the same thing. So it's very useful. And then here's, you can also select, you can also activate window from here too. And then you can actually make another window here too, but we will not use it. And then if you want to use grid snap, you just, you, you need to activate here, ortho, planner, and object snap. And in object snap, I recommend you to just click everything. Uh, if it is not activated, so make, make sure that then actually you can uh, select the corner point easily and I'll just escape to and then so smart track uh, it's a kind of like combination of object snap it's kind of automatic object snap but I would not use it I don't like that much so other stuff too so this is actually explaining uh, basic interface